Well, hi there and welcome to Friday Night Lights, a weekly look ahead to the action from Dundalk of a Friday evening. Hopefully we got lots more winners. We had a pretty decent performance last week. So uh, well done, Gavin and Johnny joining me as always. Uh, How any are you? highlights from last week? Uh, clear skies, I suppose, as uh, usual. Yeah. Yeah. Clear skies, I mean, the trainer isn't really big on records, but surely this is going to be a notable record for Aidan O'Brien. It has to be, yeah. It's going to be <clears throat> if she wins tomorrow night, four Fridays in a row and five weeks in a row because I won the previous Wednesday as well. So that definitely must be maybe is a record already. At the Absolutely. Top. Hunt ball yeah. of the flat world. I like so the way she runs later on the card as well. So people who are in trouble <laughs> can just rely on her to get out. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know. Exactly. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll touch on that first. So we started at a half five. Uh, Maiden here. A couple of these quite highly rated. I think it's Medal of Honor and, and Port Lion, similar enough. Uh, would they come into your consideration here, Gavin? The, they're both rated 86. Medal of Honor's had 10 runs to the Maiden, obviously, and Port Lion's had four runs. I tend to stay away from those that have had too many runs. I'm going to just have a small each way selection as Claiborne ran last week over five, steps up to seven. It was very well punted last week, so they obviously think something of it, and I think the step up to seven should suit. Yeah, Johnny, notable last week as well. <coughs> Lee Roach, Road, Claiborne over, over Snowpatch, who actually ran quite well. Definitely, yeah, and the draw on one will help. It was mm. fairly smartly out of the gates uh, the last day on its debut. You know, it's fairly unconventional a week later to run a horse over seven after being fancy on a debut over five. But this horse's dam, I think, stayed a mile and seven. Um, it's by Camacho. Um, so I think, I think looking at it last week, it will stay. But we've seen a few horses here lately who've been running consistently over shorter trips. And then when they step them up, even though they're bred to stay and they should stay, they're not really used to it anymore. But it'll be interesting how it works for Cleburne. I'm not, I'm not sure it'll even be an each-way price. I think it'll go off favour. It's not a good race. Uh, okay, they're going to the second race of the evening at 6 o'clock. That's seven furlong apprentice handicap. Anything jumping off the card here? Um, not particularly. It's a, it's a tough night's punting, uh, this card. But in the second, uh, good night, Irina has a chance. But I'm going to go for Dinky Inti. Uh, last time it ran off 69 and has been dropped five pounds to 64. Uh, Ushino rides it. It's drawn 11, which is not ideal. But the last day I ran the race for horse up to 75, where it's just the lowest grade. And yeah. I think it makes a huge difference at Dundalk when horses do get dropped into the lowest grade. And particularly, they're so tightly graded as well, it can make a big difference. Yeah, yeah. Johnny, your thoughts? Yeah, this is one of the better bets tonight, I think. You know, um, she's a very straightforward filly. She has form on fast ground, on slow ground. As Gavin says, she ran well the last day. The trip um, and the draw in terms of 11 over 7 furlongs isn't ideal, but Oshinar is very good at getting horses into a rhythm at Dundalk. And... Um, I looked at this race and I really, uh, it was very hard to put up anything in this. So the, you just went to the, the actual form horse. It was an eye catcher the last day um, and I think can beat Secret Memories who has a chance if it comes back to form. But that's a bit of an if. Just one horse to yeah. mention there is Pass the Ball. He's got an amazing record in 2017. He won three point of points. He's won a beginner's chase and he's won a handicap hurdle over three miles. And tomorrow he runs over seven furlongs in a handicap. So That's a pretty unique set. <laughs> <laughs> right, on to the, uh, se yeah. the second division of that uh, seven furlong handicap, actually. Uh, Polymnia kind of jumped out at me a little bit on this. Uh, any, any thoughts on that, Johnny? Yeah, Polymnia definitely has a chance. Handicap to go very well. Uh, your, your boy Ryan seems to ride quite well. I landed on free to roam here from gate one. I think this is a shocker of a race, to be honest. It's pretty much as bad as the first. Um, fairly consistent horse. Has form has generally been kept to shorter by Edo McGuinness, but does stay and... Uh, just has a reasonable chance in a bad, bad race. Gavin? Yeah, unfortunately, we've gone for the same one again here. I think Oshinor is a standout in these apprentice races yeah. too. And Free to Rome has won over seven and eight last year in the UK. Um, ran well last time over five. Its previous four runs were on soft ground, so I think the better ground at Dundalk should help. Uh, one horse to keep an eye on is Fashionable Man. I think it's def there's a race in that horse. There is a race in yeah. there. Maybe, may possibly not tomorrow. Yeah. It's uh, hard enough for us to mount into a hand. It is. Was, but it, it, the, the interesting thing is, if, if this is back you nearly follow it because it's so bad a race. Like if it has seven pounds in hand, it'll win. Yeah, absolutely. It's probably worth pointing out that we don't do this show at prices. I mean, yes, the, price, the races yeah. aren't priced up. So yeah, following the money late at Dundalk is often a, a, a decent uh, policy It's a really volatile market, actually. It's yeah. a crazy market at Dundalk, and it does give you value. Right, on to the uh, seven o'clock nursery here. We're talking about jockey bookings in the previous race. Uh, your friend of this series, David Marnan, he's a significant jockey booking here with, uh, with Pat Smullen on board. He does, yeah. David's been a, a definite friend of the show and uh, that horse is a fair chance as well. Stepping up in distance shouldn't be a big problem. Um, they've tried a bit of headgear on it and a tongue tie and um, just just slight concern about our our Saoirse weather. Um, I suppose she's all that well in. I like highly approved here. I think this is quite interesting. They ran that card on the Wednesday night um, with all the... They, I think there were only five actual races on, on entry stage, but they divided three of them. 
Yeah. And they've very strong fields, um, numerically at the very least. But Joseph O'Brien took the nursery with a horse who was 12s SP, but 20s on the exchanges, a paparazzi. And I like highly approved here. Quite a well-bred horse. Uh, full brother, uh, rather full sister to two winners, dual winners in the all weather. Shaped quite well on heavy last time and has decent maiden form. And uh, I think has more to come. There's more to come from this horse in a trappy nursery. Yeah, Gavin. Yeah, we don't compare notes as we said before, but the two I was looking at was highly approved in our Uh You've mentioned highly approved. Our I think that uh, drawn two is going to be a big help because drawn one is it's chestnut checkers. That doesn't break well. Our Saoirse does. The last day was its first time in a handicap. I think it's going to break break well and get the rail, and I could see Pat Smullen. He's, he's a great man in the front runner. Absolutely right. As the founding member of the Clear Skies yes. fan club, up We're to two members. miles, up to two miles on Friday, what do you make of it? I think that if she stays, she wins. Uh, I know that it's up to, say, 96 from 86. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, she's going for four Fridays in a row and five weeks in a row, which would be an amazing achievement. But I think that when she hits the front, she kind of idles. She'd done it over 10 and a half, and you were wondering, would she stay 12? She stayed 12, no problem. She idled again. I think that, uh, I think she'll stay, and I think she'll win. Yeah, it's just that she travels so well in the races. Are you going to give a, a shout to your, your friend Eilish Poor here, or are you sticking with Clear Sky, Tony? Yeah, I think Eilish Poor is better over a bit shorter, even though um, he has actually, I think he's won over course and distance. Um, that was a bit of a mess of a race. And would have a chance, and Billy and rather Pat Smullen will be definitely riding this to come home late. But I, I was really taken by Clear Skies last week because I thought the race wasn't going to suit at all. She broke too well. He mm. was trying to get a lead. Keen throughout. Keen. And I sort of thought to myself, right, that's the end of this winning run. And she ended up bolting up. Like yes. She absolutely bolted up. Um, I think she's really, really progressive at this stage. She's, as we've mentioned before, she's a see the star, stars half sister to motivate her. Really should get two miles on pedigree. Yeah. Not saying she certainly will, but. The way she, she to me she went into another sphere last uh, Friday and uh, again I just don't have much uh, there to beat her I just think lob away she'll get a lead and she she'll have so much pace I mean she'd very good form at seven furlongs as a two year old you got to remember for David Watson yeah. there's one little negative that she's drawn eleven so she has been spoiled the last few weeks that she's had a lower draw so we just hope she gets in and gets a bit of cover yeah can either of you name the horse she was second to as a two year old in Newmarket you said it here last week the week before I don't think I did actually she did Alice Springs was it. Well not done. bad. Well so we do this well and we done. didn't confer on that yeah. either. No. Yeah. Uh, right on to the uh, the maiden upcoming at eight o'clock. Uh, Worcester probably is top rated in here. No longer with Joseph O'Brien. Yeah, it's uh, rated seventy one and has the brilliant Ben Cohen claim in ten. Yeah. You're a fan. Oh, I'm a massive fan. Big yeah. fan. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's he, great. he looks top class. Galway man, I think. Headford. Well, sure, that yeah. says enough. Well, uh, you wouldn't let it slip. What do you want? Yeah. Do you want? Yeah. 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 Um, so that's rated seventy one. Getting the ten pounds. Pivotal connections rated sixty six. The fear is rated sixty six. Depending on the betting, um, if the fear is two to one or bigger, I think I might back to fear. It had two runs in France back in April and May was sixth and seventh. Ran here a month ago and was second over seven. Step up two miles should do it. So maybe just the fear. Okay, Johnny. Yeah, the fear. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, we'll Sh just move yeah, on. To <laughs> yeah, poor yeah. race. Yeah. Okay, no, because the next race is actually a really decent race. Uh, so want to mention that Gordon Lord Byron running in that uh, that eight thirty the the handicap. What what you make of this one? Very decent race. But like is it a punt in medium? Um, I doubt it. Yeah, obviously, as as Gavin said, depends on the prices. But you look at I think three of them are out of the handicap. Catty mm. Man couldn't win a much weaker race the last day. Uh, San <coughs> Fracquam is thrown in, but seems to have lost his way. Um, Glastonbury Song really flopped in England the last day. Elavel, yeah, yeah Elavel hasn't won in an age. Gordon Lord Byron is obviously getting on and yada yada, which leaves Captain Joy, um, who probably has been prepped for Lingfield again, I presume. Horse had nearly died from colic not that long ago. Um, the, 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 the default selection here, really. Okay, no. uh, I'm with Salisbury Cam. I can't let him go up a mark of 90 nearly, but uh, the Kevin Manning's absolute minimum, I think. Uh, your thoughts, Gavin? I, just as Johnny said, one thing to point out for punters is that Geological Beach Bar and Secret Wizard are out of the handicaps. Just bear that in mind. I was really looking forward to tipping up Cascavel, your horse here. I was here. too, yeah. And I know he doesn't, when I he doesn't run. Handy. I know. <laughs> He's a non runner. It's a pity, bit like it? Duvan on Saturday. <laughs> But um, I think the safest option, I won't have a bet in the race, but I think Catty Man, it's been third off 86, it won off 87, last time was second to Cascavel off 85, runs here off 86, just maybe yeah. Catty Man. Well, I, I'm just putting him sounds per account because I tipped it up to a classic once upon a time. So what I does it mean really again? Uh, like I'm water without air or something like that, it's Latin. No. 
Go, yeah. go for it, Johnny. We'll I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's move on to the, uh, the closing race of the evening, that, uh, the mile handicap. It doesn't and get any easier here. Yeah, this no. is not getting any easier. Uh, I thought maybe Spring Garden on handicap debut uh, could, could run a race here. I thought Quick maybe thought. Honor Oak drawn one travels fantastic. It'll come there cruising two out. You'll get you'll get out of it at say two to one and running no problem. It's off seventy two. It might hang on for a win, and she is diesel would also be a danger. It's been dropped five pound to seventy. Johnny, I'm with Gavin's danger here. She is diesel uh, won a three year old handicap earlier in the season. Travels very well, and I'm looking forward to Colin Keane riding this. The last time I saw him really cajole an old meat horse was a horse by the name of Wait for Dave, and that didn't work out. <laughs> it didn't work out last Big week. Big red chair time. Yeah. Right, let's but move on to our, our best bets on the card then. Johnny, we'll, we'll start with you. Clear Skies is an app. Next best, Dinky Inti, and Highly Approved is the third. Cool. Uh, clear Skies, Ursertia, and Dinky Inti. Well, I'm going with Spring Garden, Port Lions, and I can't let Sanus Pura Cam go. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week for more Friday Night Lights.